Hi, I'm Josh Welton from Brown Dog Welding, and today we're gonna make a few different trailer hitch covers. Um, we have these ones over here that are already cut out. Uh, we're just gonna assemble them. To kind of show the, we're, we're using the Synchro Wave 210 today, and uh, we're gonna do some aluminum, some stainless, and then some mild steel with it, all TIG welding. Um, I'm gonna plasma cut out one design. Uh, I'm a huge fan of the Punisher. Um, I, I dig the comic books, I dig the, the movie character, um, and then uh, obviously, I'm not the only one, uh, special forces, some special forces of, uh, of the U.S. military have actually used this as kind of a, a symbol for, uh, for their, for their uh, teams. Um, it's just a really cool, really cool uh, symbol. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to trace this out, out of, uh, on quarter inch steel. I'm going to plasma cut out the design. And something like this, um, you kind of got to play it by ear about what kind of design you're doing. But this one is going to be okay if it's a little rough because that's kind of the, the symbol. It's kind of tough and rugged. So um, the cuts, uh, you know, they don't have to be precise. They can, they can be a little on the edge and it's still going to look really cool. Um, so I'm going to trace this out and I'm going to cut out the main skull. And then I'm going, to, I'm going to also cut out a little spot behind it to give it a backing plate. So when you're looking at the skull, you don't see the angle or the, excuse me, the square tubing behind it. Um, I, I already have the two, uh, the holes lined up for um, the trailer hitch pin, and we'll actually just plasma cut those out too, so you don't have to get out your your drill press. So, um, with that being said, I'm going to get started. All right, so um, I have part of the skull cut out. I wanted to show something. Um, when you're doing a design, or even if you're cutting out a part for, um, for a larger weldment, um, typically uh, when, when you go into the cut, if you're, if you're starting into a cut that's already made, you want to start on the piece of material that's going to be sacrificed, not the main piece. So when I come into to this, I'll probably turn it a little bit. When I come in to start right here, um, I'm going to come in and start on this piece because we're not going to use that piece and then you're going to go into the cut as opposed to trying to start right at the cut and chances are you're going to blow out into the into the design. I mean there may be some circumstances where you have to do a precise stop and start and if so then then go for it but um, you want to err on the side of the material that you're not going to use. All right, so we got the, the Punisher skull cut out. Um, when, I, when I cut that out, I didn't talk about it, but I used this piece of metal as kind of a, a backing so we don't gouge into the table. Um, cutting, cutting thinner material, you can usually dial it down so, uh, so you don't get uh, a long enough burn to hurt your table. Um, I usually like putting the pieces up on, on angle iron. Um, and then I can steady myself on the table. I don't have to have the overhang and, and uh, you know, be shooting stuff on my feet and everything. Um, so what I'm going to do is, because we're going to cut a piece out of this as a backer for the skull, um, I'm going to slice this, this scrap piece of sheet metal quit into a little square and then what we're going to do is we're going to set it under where we cut just to make sure we don't dig into this table. Um, chances are it'd be alright anyways, but, uh, but why take that chance when this is such an easy thing to do? So um, that's what I'm going to do right now. Uh, so another thing, another thing you can do is uh, grab another piece of scrap and set it between you and uh, and where you're cutting, um, and that way any kickback uh, doesn't come and and uh, and hit you in the gut. So um, I'm gonna use this maybe to steady my hand, and uh, this is just going to be a backing for the skull, so you don't see through the eyes uh, at the trailer hitch. So just a, a quick simple thing as a backing bar, backing plate. All right, I laid out the holes for the pin for the, for the hitch. So I'm just gonna, instead of drilling them out, I'm just gonna cut them out with the plasma cutter real quick. So 
So I got the skull, Punisher skull cut out, a backing plate. Um, I cleaned up the edges to get the mill scale off so uh, I can weld this uh, on here. And how it's gonna look is we're gonna weld that like that. And then this piece will get welded like that. Um, I use a plasma cutter to cut out the holes so that the, uh, the hitch pin will fit in. Um, so easy, easy peasy. You don't gotta go get a 5-8 drill or whatever. Just uh, you, can, you can cut out the hole and uh, kinda just make it fit. So now we're gonna get out the, uh, the synchro wave and start welding this stuff together. All right, so I have the backing part of the skull done and I just welded all the way around it real quick. Um, on the other ones, I'm gonna measure out and center the tubing. On this one, because the skull itself is kind of uh, odd shape, I'm gonna just eyeball uh, how I want this to go. Um, you can also, if you really want to, you can tack it in place and then take it out to your truck, fit it up, see how it, see how it looks, and uh, adjust as necessary. Um, but I think this is going to be this is going to be pretty close, so I'm going to pack it and uh, then weld it up. All right, so now we're gonna to put together the stainless piece that has been, uh, it looks like laser cut perhaps, out of uh, stainless steel. And how it goes together is the cutout piece goes on top of a solid piece to give it kind of a relief look. And then this outer ring will get welded like that, and then it kind of has a neat recessed look. And then finally, the hitch uh, connector gets welded on the back. And we'll lay that out and measure it so we get it square. Um, but first off, with this piece, they're exactly the same outer dimension, and I want to weld that together uh, so it stays. So what I'm going to do actually is just bevel a couple of edges and put weld in there, and then sand it down flat before we weld it to this piece. So uh, that's what's going to happen at this minute. All right, so to stick these two pieces together, I put a little bevel on each side, and I'm just gonna fill it in with some 035 or 045, can't remember what I grabbed, something thin, uh, stainless MIG wire, and I'm gonna, just gonna fill that bevel um, and then sand it down flush uh, just to keep these two pieces together. They'll end up getting welded over anyways, but this is just a little uh, added, added protection. Uh, something if you ever run into when you get two pieces that are cut exactly the same, uh, you, want, you want penetration while sanding it down so they remain flush. Just put a little bevel in it and then put that weld in there and uh, that'll give it just that added bit of, uh, of bite. So right now I'm laying out uh, where the inner part is going to go on the outer edge and um, the Miller logo and symbol in this little thing is uh, three and a quarter inch by three and a quarter inch. The outside piece is four inches squared, so that leaves you three eighths on either side. So I'm just using a, a piece of tungsten actually works as a pretty good layout tool. Um, so I have a sharpened piece of tungsten and then I'm just laying out um, three eighths in and then we can just square this to those lines and, uh, and we'll be good. Now I have this, uh, the three and a, a quarter inch piece uh, sitting inside. Um, it should be pretty symmetrical. Uh, it matches up to each of the lines I marked on all four sides. Uh, so I'm gonna tack that and then uh, weld that up. And then we'll basically do the same thing for the, adapter, for the, the hitch adapter. Um, we'll measure this, I'm guessing it's two inches squared and this is three and a quarter, so that gives you one and a quarter inch. So five eighths on either side. If 
I just mathed correctly, and we will lay that out and weld that too. All right, so I'm welding up the hitch adapter to the stainless. Um, a couple things: if you don't want, if you don't want the surface of this to get arc, uh, to get arc spots, because what's going to happen is the the ground is going to take the shortest route to the weld. So oftentimes you'll get an arc spot um, on the surface of the metal that's touching the table. Uh, I'm not worried about that too much today. Um, typically, I would have. Um, a, a table vise and I would clamp it up in that or you could take a third arm and you could have it so that it arcs out from a, from a clean spot on the table to the back of the piece and you wouldn't have that issue. Um, I'm not too worried about it, I'm just going to I'm just gonna um, sand the, the, the front of it when I'm done um, but that's just something to think about. Uh, right now I have this square piece where I want and I just picked a random scrap of heavy metal to put on top to keep it there so when I put a weld on it it doesn't wobble too much. Uh, I'm going to tack the corners and then I'm going to do the welds to, to finish it. Now we're doing the aluminum trailer hitch cover and it's a very similar concept. Um, same layout, uh, same cleaning. Uh, want to keep the steels and the aluminum, you know, the stainless even separate from the mild steel and the, the aluminum separate from the stainless and the mild, uh, but we clean it um, before the weld. And this time though, instead of, instead of going in and welding these two pieces together first, I'm just going to, I tacked it up, I'm just going to lay it down and put um, one bead over both pieces and it should penetrate into both of them. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and start doing that. All right, so I finished up the three trailer hitch covers. Um, the, uh, the Punisher, I'm pretty, pretty stoked with how that turned out. I think that's gonna look really cool on the back of a, of a pickup truck. Um, but it's, it's neat to see that this machine can do, do all three of these processes uh, and, and do a good job of them. So um, I guess uh, to recap, um, we used the, uh, the plasma cutter, the Spectrum 375, to cut out the cool uh, the Punisher logo, which I think turned out really, really neat. Um, and then we put together these two uh, Miller trailer hitch covers, uh, stainless and aluminum. Um, it's cool having a machine that's versatile. You can do, do all three of those materials with the Synchro Wave 210. Uh, it handled it uh, with ease, really. Um, everything looks, looks really good, and uh, it, was, it, was, it was nice to use. Um, so. If you want to know more about that machine, you can go to MillerWelds.com. And if you want to know more about what I do and my work, you can go to BrownDogWelding.com.